Uh, what we have happening is a lot of clouds left from yesterday's storm. So we got our beneficial rain. Clouds are still with us today, and I think by late day we'll clear that out. And the clouds should stay away for, I think, two and a half to three days. So there's our shot right now. And you can almost tell, despite the lack of daylight here, that things are greening up. That looks just a little bit greener than it did a couple of days back. And the rainfall of yesterday, very beneficial, ending up at 0.67 for Topeka. Uh, most areas well south of Topeka and Shawnee County getting an inch to inch and a half. So that is a really good one. And that may kind of hold fire danger down just a smidgen as we go through the mid to latter part of the week. So with our day planner today, here's the way it looks. We're going to have spotty flakes in the far north northeast counties this morning. Uh, there has been a little bit of light rain in some areas in the snowflake or two. Mainly cloudy, approaching lunchtime at 44, and then partial sunshine for the afternoon at 50. The farther west you go, the quicker you get some good sunshine out toward Junction City, Manhattan, and Salina. So the system that was spinning down here toward the Kansas Oklahoma border yesterday, that's moved well off to the east, and all this is on the back side of that. So what was on the back side, creating snows way out in western Kansas yesterday, producing some snow for Lincoln and Omaha, rain kind of coming down toward the St. Joe area, but all this rotating out of here very quickly, but the clouds are kind of stuck, and the clouds will linger here through at least mid to maybe late afternoon in some areas from Topeka to Kansas City, but we should start getting pretty good clearing out here toward Concordia and also getting out here toward Clay Center. Some of those locations should go partly cloudy by at least lunchtime today. So we do have some very spotty rain in Hiawatha, a uh, little bit of mix over here toward St. Joe, but otherwise the light showers toward Kansas the city are pretty much dissipating, although we do have a little bit of moisture trapped, and so there's a little bit of developing fog, and there might be just a little hit of drizzle out of some of those areas as well. Right now, Emporia at 39, Junction City the same thing, Marysville at 36, but in Topeka, over toward Lawrence, a lot of clouds, 42 degrees in both spots, and there's the northwesterly wind that will stay at 10 to 15 easily for most locations, if not higher than that, making it feel very chilly this morning. But as we go through the day today, we'll gradually get that to ease just a little bit to the far northwest as things settle down, and then that really envelops the entire area through the overnight. Uh, still primarily a light north wind, but it should be at 5 to 10 or even less than that into early tomorrow. And then through the day tomorrow, we try to get a returning south to southwest wind, and that should slowly be begin the warm up as what's happening in Texas and Oklahoma gets transported in with that south to southwest breeze. So our numbers will climb, but not today. A lot of clouds lingering near 50 degrees, right? 3, 4 o'clock, northwest wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Manhattan at 51, a northwest wind of 8 to 18, and Emporia at 50. So through the overnight, Touch of frost, still too early for plants to be outside, but we're getting closer with each passing day. Early morning numbers at 30. I think outlying areas away from the bigger cities will be around 27 to 29 degrees, so be aware of that. And then in the outlook, we go to 60 tomorrow, so we try to get it up there just a little bit. After that, we're looking at a 70 degree high on Thursday. That should be the warmest day of the entire week. And with the warmer daytime highs comes a warmer start to each day. So we'll begin Friday at 48. We get our scattered rain chance toward late Friday. And by then, I think the clouds really take over. We'll likely have stronger breezes, bringing back the moisture. And that will lead to that rain chance for Friday night into Saturday. After that 68 high to begin the weekend, we should be dry. And a 42 low into early Sunday morning. And then for Sunday, we're looking at daytime highs of 64. Trying to hold on on Monday to submit an upper 60s. And it may cool down a little bit after that with a shot of rain and then it becomes very interesting because this is spring break for many but then the week after is Easter and of course we'll be kind of fine-tuning that forecast all of next week and spring starts today at 11 right right after 11 Just after like 11 15 or so okay. and let's see a lot of bright colors out there yes. some yellows and greens and pinks and all kinds of stuff well I know I'm ready for spring to get here yeah that's it's for time. sure It'll be good times. <laughs>